And now let me invite the next speaker to our stage, Andrzej Krzemiński, CEO at MVOX, blockchain-based uh, startup for the Renewable Energy Project Finance. Andrzej, you are welcome on the stage. Thank you very much. Uh, it's so nice to be there. Um, I would say that the meeting is organized very professionally. No, we wholeheartedly con congratulate on everybody who came to this concept to have this kind of conference being held totally online. Now, uh, I was really thrilled to watch and listen to all the presentations, and I would like to move now to something that is a uh, little bit maybe different, and it really is about digitalization of uh, things that are important for the world right now. And this importance is the renewable energy investments. And I will try to tell you where do we come from, what is our mission, what are, what are our goals, what is the technology that we are employing, what kind of uh, offer is being created, and uh, maybe just uh, have a little glimpse over the, the products that we are giving right now. Now, the team that has come to this concept is uh, constructed of uh, several persons, mainly people responsible for investments and financial world. There is Gerrit Voss. You will have Charles uh, uh, Gamba, who will lead the, the meeting uh, after my presentation. There is Steve Kaczmarczyk, a person that has a long time in the, in the financial industry. Guido Beyerhans, Marek Malik, the group of engineers, uh, technicians uh, that came and, in, in, and investors that came to this uh, position to offer uh, something that we called an Amvox, the platform. The ITDS that we are developing from is a uh, Dutch, Dutch embedded company having its Polish business. We belong to Redmore company altogether, having like 1.6 thousand professionals in the IT industry with a uh, quite good turnover uh, of 130 million euro per annum. We have been servicing institutional financial clients in uh, all the practically biggest names that, for example, operate in Poland have been, have been serviced by us. The offer that we are giving is, uh, first of all, the staffing. Uh, for We are staffing the projects at our customers with uh, professional engineers. We offer integration of third-party systems. And last but not least, and something that I would like to talk about right now is, based on the experience and equity, uh, and uh, all the mastership that uh, this organization have generated so far, we became to be the fintech delivery platform uh, and uh, creating an ability to launch new businesses. Now, what we are offering is Amvox Renewable, the portfolio and asset management platform that is based on blockchain and uses all these uh, modern technologies which is, in our opinion, an answer, or maybe even a standard, as far as uh, management of, uh, uh, of the financing of uh, renewable energy projects is concerned. The offer is worldwide. We started from Poland, because this is where the majority of our staff is now located. But of course, it touches upon every possible energy source that we can have in the world. Now, you know that renewable energy is something that is really uh, on vogue right now. Uh, countries and governments have pledged 826 gigawatts renewable energy production by 2030. That is approximately $1 trillion, so $1,000 billion that is going to be invested in this area. Is it a big number? Well, it sounds big, however, in the last decade, 2010, 2019, the world has invested $2.7 trillion into uh, renewable energy um, organization and investments. The renewable energy sources grew from 6% of the total share in energy production to nearly 13.5% in 2019. We have uh, a group of companies that is called uh, the RE100. There is a group of big corporates like an Apple or Microsoft that are claiming that within a very defined period of time, 100% of their energy that they consume would be uh, taken from renewable energy sources. 
We have credit rating companies like Standard & Poor's who puts the ESG factors as an element of the credit rating of a company. So this world became to be very vibrant and is being uh, very corporatized. So we came to conclusion that we would need, or somebody would need to do the, to, to present an offer uh, to power this energy production and renewable energy management with digital solution. And this is our vision, this is our goal, uh, so that we can help the industry to find this situation where financing of uh, renewable energy sources is no longer an issue from managerial perspective, from digitalization perspective. So the mission is that we put forward is, uh, you know, gather a team of engineers and uh, specialists to create a standard, to create a unique solution that would be helping to manage the sustainable project finance and to be able to monitor the whole chain of digital data flow from the moment when the data is produced and captured by sensors, then it is managed within uh, SPVs or within companies, then it is controlled by the investors and then it's controlled by financiers, so banks or investment funds, and then it can be what we call tokenized or sold on a secondary market. And it is all located on the blockchain as an answer to the modern technology uh, solutions that are available right now uh, for the market. Now, what industry challenges are we, have been, we been facing so far? First of all, with the expense per one megawatt going down, for example, one megawatt of uh, solar energy went down in Germany from $6 per one megawatt to less than $1.5 per one megawatt. There is a big possibility that there will be more investments done with a relatively lower total volume of uh, money that needs to be invested. That means a multiplication of size of sources that will be producing renewable energy. The next element that, the, that is coming with this is that we do not have a single source or single type of uh, renewable energy production. There will be multiple. There will be biogas, there will be, there will be water, there will be uh, solar, there will be wind. So not only many of them, but also many in terms of the type of the energy source. That is leading us to the next situation, next challenge. That means that locations will be many, dispersed all over the country in various places. That means that the total management of a portfolio of an investor who has several SPVs, and within these SPVs, he would have the photovoltaic farms, he would have uh, wind farms, he would have uh, biogas farms. That, also, that already becomes to be quite important element to manage the whole portfolio. Now, when we are putting all these elements into the energy distribution grid, somebody has to control this. Somebody has to control the energy that was produced, stored, produced and sold. The blockchain is a perfect tool for transactions to monitor and to trace the transactions that are being done for the energy distribution. Now we are coming into the project finance, which is still to vast majority kind of handmade, requiring, uh, um, I would say, uh, typical, you know, man-made processing. You have many players. There might be frictions in the interest. There might be frictions in the ex access to the data. So altogether, if we are able, and this is what we are proposing, to give answers to this kind of uh, industry challenges, to create a platform that will be based on the blockchain, that will be traceable, that will be auditable, that will allow every participant, every organization that will have an interest in this uh, energy production chain, have the same source of information, the same entry to the, to the information, that would altogether create us the possibility to uh, increase, for example, the liquidity in the market. Now, we start from uh, Internet of Things because every of these uh, sources of energy is, pro is producing information. The information is being collected by sensors. The sensors are sending out the information through Internet to uh, one of the 
element of our system, which is the data, uh, which is the asset managers, organizations who are managing the assets, production assets from technical perspective. Then we put it onto the blockchain. And when we include from different oracles, we, when we include the information from, from financial departments, uh, from banks, we are able to create dashboards, dashboards that are located on the blockchain, dashboards that are accessible by parties who are involved in the whole in the whole uh, energy production um, system. And uh, this is helping us, starting from this Internet of Things, going through the blockchain dashboard, this is helping us to manage the whole data, data flow, data chain. Now, the blockchain, I'm, I'm talking to uh, experts, so uh, it's not, no need to uh, uh, define the blockchain. However, we decided to put it on the private blockchain, and uh, this is uh, an, a, enabling us to offer the uh, dashboards to, would, that would enable you know, the users to monitor in a simultaneous manner all this real, real uh, um, sorry, renewable energy sources that uh, a company would have in their portfolio. This is more resilient. This is uh, lifting the frictions in, in terms of the access to data through various parties, and it's definitely uh, based on the secure system. Um, it's just a very simple picture of how this uh, blockchain uh, looks like. We are saying that there are kind of primary and secondary blockchain. The primary is to inhale all the data from um, participants, from the uh, production sources, from banks, from asset managers, from the SPV owner, in order to create dashboards that are helping everybody to manage efficiently their, their portfolios, to be able to react to changes that are happening uh, in the whole production chain, to be able to react rather proactively than after the, you know, anything is uh, happening. But then we are coming to this, something that we call the secondary blockchain, which is enabling secondary financial market to look into the data, to trace the data, to see, look for the you know, auditable um, proofs of green energy production ability, and then to be able to cut into slices the funding sources and uh, re redistribute them on the secondary financial market. We strongly believe that this is something like, we call, as we call the digital data room, that is non-changeable, that is secure, that is accessible by, by parties, that gives the information that is very equal to every participant that is allowed to have an insight into the data. What are our key system features that we are proposing is, first of all, loading up the uh, projects. We call it the uh, loading dock. This is a uh, you know, set of tools that enable us to onboard the information from different sources, from different sensors, from different uh, data providers onto the platform. So this is number one. Number two is, and this, way, this we found very popular when we spoke to, um, uh, to the players on the market, that the management of, the, of those uh, portfolios through an online and real-time dashboards that are reacting in no time in, onto the changes that are happening in the whole energy production uh, chain and can give the immediate information feedback to people who are interested in having this kind of feedback from the production perspective, but also from the financial perspective, from the credit control, from the, uh, from the investment control perspective. Within this, there are something that we call the smart contracts or automized or digitalized processes that are using the data that is taken from the, from the whole platform and they are producing the signals to users, to persons, individuals, organizations that should have some activity based, for example, on the fact that for some reasons a part of the production plant is not producing energy, so it might 
uh, impact the total production capacity, which might be impacting total sales of the energy, which in, if uh, in risk could be putting the uh, repayment of loans at uh, risk. The digital data room is something that is very important because it, it is allowing participants to trace the data back to the beginning of, uh, of the whole platform, is allowing the, the participants to trade data in a specific point in time, and is allowing to conduct all the audits that would be needed in order to assess uh, the specific project. Uh, our USP, first of all, because of automatization, because of digitalization, because of the fact that the whole complicated world is being put on one platform and is being put on the blockchain is, and is very digitalized and very automized, the cost of uh, project financing will definitely go down. We have estimations that are you know, showing that uh, you know, in the, by basis points, as far as the total investment is concerned, we are able to prove that this introduction of this kind of management system is cooling off the expenses as far as the total project finance is concerned. If so, there is a possibility to increase the number of projects that are being managed by a team, by a company, by a manager. So this becomes even cheaper. If so, the agility and liquidity of the financial aspects of renewable, renewable energy finance is being improved and is being increased because all the transactions that, uh, that are being done throughout this uh, energy production chain are being located on the blockchain and be, are being traceable. And also, when I look into the smart contract thing and their auditability, Definitely, the, it improves the compliance of the projects and improves those elements that are, as I mentioned at the very beginning, important. So, for example, the environmental protection factors of the existence of the company or to prove the actual uh, uh, carbon offset that we are generating by specific source of energy. We start, of course, by customization of the project because it's a quite uh, important element at the very beginning to understand uh, the system at the customer side, to understand how the bank is managing uh, uh, this particular set of customers. Then there is a process of onboarding of projects onto our platform. We produce the dashboards. Uh, then those dashboards are existing within this dashboards, within the whole platform. There is, as I said, the automation element um, that we are agreeing, those smart contracts are agreed with all the stakeholders of, uh, of, of, of the platform. And as the final outcome, there is a possibility to either securitize the portfolio or cash out in full or in part of the invested money, which allows investors to release equity that was invested or allows banks to share the risk among the participants of the financial uh, market in a specific country. Um, we, you know, it, we would say that the future just starts today. This what you have, this what you see here on the, on the picture is a, a kind of graph from our, one of our uh, dashboards. Um, I think just to summarize my short presentation that it is really the need, as we look into this uh, sector or sectors, the energy production and energy, renewable energy financing, it is now the moment that with all the rise of investments that is happening to the system, and in particular in Poland, which that becomes to be very active in terms of uh, shifting from fossil fuels to renewable energy, you have big, or big state-owned organizations that are claiming the change of their strategy towards the green energy. It is now a perfect moment to look into this process of how the monitoring of the whole energy production process is done. How does it comply with the financing part of, uh, of, of the system so that we are able to pr propose to the market a standard? We kind of joke at home that this is our Bloomberg for renewable energy production and finance. 
And uh, this is what the Amvox as a feature, as a platform is geared towards. I think I'm just a little bit ahead of my time. So uh, I think I, we discussed with Elena that there is a moment that uh, we would invite questions. So if anybody of the participants would like to throw a question at me, please feel free. Yes, uh, thank you, Andrzej, for your presentation. Very important topic. And yes, we have a few minutes for the questions uh, here. Actually, uh, as you are coming from the financial sector and uh, precisely the leasing industry, as you uh, headed the Raiffeisen Leasing and Pekao Leasing and also Polish Leasing Association. So my question to you is, how do you see that you can cooperate with the leasing companies and with the banking industry in this project? Well, I would even say that uh, the, uh, the system is offering solution to everybody that has assets that are online. And if I would go to my previous assignments within the leasing industry, you can think about fleets of cars. And it's said that 60% of newly produced cars are connected. If they are connected, that means that they are collecting information from the cars and they are sending this information somewhere. So we would be eager to you know, collect this information, create a dashboard or a set of dashboards for companies that are using uh, fleets, for example, and produce the same uh, set of uh, tools for leasing company. From the banking perspective, we had talks, we had discussions, and we found ourselves in a very specific situation. When we talk to investors, they are saying, oh, how can you convince my bank to the platform? When we speak to the bank, he says, how can you convince my customer so that the customer employs this platform? So apparently, both sides are in the need of this solution. And it is only the, the time, and uh, thanks to this fabulous uh, convention, we are able to present the concept. It is now the time for us to convince the market that every participant, either the investor that is investing into, let me come back to renewable energy, every investor and every bank that is you know, financing is interested or might be possibly using the solution that we have on offer. So I'm not afraid of this. It only takes time and some trainings and the presentation for the market to analyze the uh, value of the product. Thank you. Thank you very much, Andre, and good luck with the project.